Hello everyone, welcome to CNA, the daily newspaper analysis. So today is 20th of December. Let's start the analysis of today. This is me and my relevant working experience. If you want to join our WhatsApp as well as our Telegram groups, you can join in via the links given in the description section below. So this is the content of today. First key essay, blow for the rights of the legislature in lawmaking, Indian forest and wood certification scheme, Gelapu project, shift in India's dietary habits and relevant prelims facts. Key essay first. Here, in a landmark judgment delivered on November 10, 2023, the state of Punjab versus Principal Secretary to the Government of Punjab and another, the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, gave a creative interpretation to Article 200 of the Constitution of India, which relates to the options before a governor when a bill after being passed by the state legislature is present to him for his assent. So, yet a mainly Article to focus about the article 200 of the Indian constitution and it is basically the powers which are given to the governors by the constitution to grant or assent or even to withhold or even to reserve the bill for the president's consideration. So therefore he has got two options, key options. He may directly give uh, like not give, he may return the bill if it is not a money bill obviously for reconsideration by the house and if it is passed by the house again with or without amendments the governor shall not withhold assent so what was the case in this respective supreme court so therefore a petition was filed seeking directions to the governor to clear some bills passed by the state assembly first by telangana and now by the state of punjab so therefore today we have to see that how this article 200 is very much contradictory with respect to the governor as well as the state government. Ariyate, the Masaida alternative for Kothasi to Koshlu, giving assent straight away, withholding his assent, returning the bill, and also even if he is constitutionally bound to give his assent or not, a good take in Kotha, yet article 200 of it or Okay, so now even here is basically an interpretation which has been given by the CGI. Okay, so yet kwa goise, ze yet a safeguard kora goise, legislature rights bila. Interpretation represents an evolution in views of governor's power. The governor's powers are also getting importance today because at some point of time, governors were not considered to be an important part of the state legislature. So he kotha tu yada hise. Okay, tapisot, it is now providing greater clarity in relation to Article 200. Okay, and therefore you have to see that how this absence can be seen as a president's consideration in the structure associated with the bill. Okay, so yate a gute kotha kini ke bhalke intercept kora goise and how this respective Supreme Court and how this respective uh, like the constitutional bench which has given such number of uh, suggestions towards the governor, how we can interpret it more so that we can make the rules or we can make the seat of the governor much more useful in the state legislature as compared to the contradictory statements that has been passed recently against the governor by some of the respective states. Okay, so a good take what I can discuss then try to attempt this particular question in association with the respective article. Next key essay, Indian Forest and Wood Certification Scheme, a scheme to counter foreign agencies. Amid rising international concerns on deforestation and illicit trade in timber, the government has launched its own national forest certification scheme to validate entities that adhere to sustainable practices in management of forests and its product. So the Indian Forest and Wood Certification Scheme will offer an alternative to the private foreign certification agencies that have been operating in the Indian market for the last two decades. So what is this scheme is all about? So this scheme comprises three types of certifications. Kiki. Forest Management Certification, Three Outside Forest Management Certification, Chain of Custody Certification, Tinta Certification And what is basically this Forest Certification? So, it is the process of evaluating the quality of forest products. Forest products, timber, wood, pulp products, products, forest products. And what is the main purpose associated with the certification? So, it ensures that forest products are sourced from responsibly managed forests of recycled materials. So, as you do, a certification to which is basically a voluntary third party certification. 
and it took you can go say mainly to encourage sustainable forest management and even agro forestry so today if you have to implement such and scheme in the forested areas then we have to go ahead with a proper agency which is directly going the certifications in association with the forest so here to certification yet a say national accreditation board for certification bodies under the quality control of india that is the qci okay so how are forest in india managed so forest in india are managed according to their sporting working plans and we all know that how a forest is directly uh, renamed or how a forest is directly updated be it criteria like indicators verifiers a good at a process hoy, to have a particular forest certifications are as a certification amak kyo lage mainly for the buyers assurance and also discouraging various illegal sources of forest products that can be seen coming from the respective forest our target yet a bahut environmental social or economic benefits so as associated with this type of certification okay and therefore we have directly a need of this ifwcs okay so hekini kotha ke yaar likha ase gote tumaloke question to attempt kori pelai and attempt this mcq for your better understanding next ki galapur project galapur project or kiho karane region ase so we have seen that the galapur mindfulness mega city project announced by king jigme khesar namgyal wangchuk is set to pivotal tax for bhutan's future pm okay so this special administrative region project in the btr aims to address economic challenges and reverse youth migration trends okay so this region is basically the region in galapu okay which is a very uh, border area uh, near to the in near to the indo bhutan border okay our a is to project hoy a project to main vision to ki hoy to create an economic corridor connecting south asia with southeast asia via india's northeastern states to countries like myanmar thailand cambodia laos vietnam malaysia and singapore okay so these are some things in associated with this particular news are hetu karane aji a kalepur project will be the big responsibility for the next government upcoming in bhutan to create a economic hub amongst this particular border so you can see this is the bhutan this is the indian border so ei kotha kini aji yate ei galepu project tour under discuss kara goise okay also we have got a strategic initiative for this regional integration enhancing bhutan's connectivity with south and southeast asia our ta karane ei project to amar karane bahut beshi important hoy okay so this will cover around 1000 square kilometer and will be developed as a special administrative region our ta logot eta bahut dangor plan ase for infrastructural development energy enhancement international collaborations and also a good amount of safety features which can utilize the opportunity in association with the indo bhutan bilateral ties okay uh, so hetwe yate directly discuss ase about this galapu region and this project associated with their respective development as an economic hub question dikho disu ta saiba next ki ase shift in india's dietary habits so tax fhhs foods view it is a public imperative so the key is the consumption of high fat sugar salt is one of the major risk factors to a host of health issues that include obesity diabetes and high blood pressure so according to this particular report of world bank 70% of all overweight and obsessed people lived in low and middle income countries with a 55% rise in rural areas okay so aji jodi yate ami dekhu eat right movement as se thora kam mane tel chini or namak thora kam ekita eta ami dekhu je it's something harmful eta mojodi kon namak it is very much bad for a pressure uh, patients and chini is very much bad for a patient with diabetes okay uh, so even uh, tel je bilak tel jatiyo products se bilak already amar sasthyo karane alok beya hoy okay so all these things are something in associated with the activities and with the dietary habits that we can see today in our real time so therefore share the shift in dietary habits So the non-communicable diseases burden in India has skyrocketed from 38% in 1990 to around 65% in 2019. So tar karne ki hoye se, okay? It is supposedly if I say about diabetes, it's a non-communicable diseases. As one man who has diabetes, like a whole man who has diabetes, how can he know? No, he can't. Okay. So therefore, you are considering this to be non-communicable diseases. Or any basu be as a bahi hoye se just because of the eating habits of the Indians. Okay. So as a he karne, there are measures which are taken around the globe to directly Uh, cut down the amount of uh, products which can directly affect the well-being of an respective individuals 
ओके सो उइ कैन सी दैट आज हेतु कारण टैक्सेशन करा गयसे सुगर स्वीटन बेवरेजेस ओके इवन द एफएचएसएस फूड्स हाई फैट सॉल्ट सुगर ओके सो इबला को ऊपर टैक्स लगा गयसे सो इन इंडिया केरला हैज इंट्रोड्यूस अ फैट टैक्स वे बैक इन 2016 व्हिच लेटर गॉट सबज्यूम इनटू इंडियाज गुड्स एंड सर्विस टैक्स इन 2017 सो इबला एटाटा पर्टिकुलर केस होय वेयर वी हैव टू सी अबाउट दिस एफएचएसएस टैक्स इफ इट इज गुड इफ इट इज बैड एंड इफ इट इज गुड वी नीड्स टू इंप्लीमेंट इट एज सून एज पॉसिबल टू प्रोटेक्ट आवर पॉपुलेस फ्रॉम Infecting towards the non-communicable diseases in future. Okay, so एक उठा के निके यार पूरा लिखा से भाल के तुम्हाल के इन्हा brief तुम्हाल के जिस दिन देखनी पहुँची हुआ you would understood about that how this is impacting the Indians and how this is miserably making all people sick because of some of the non-communicable diseases which we can see in real time in our country. Okay, so here to report a question is different. So say about तुम्हाल के next Swar Vet Mahamandir. So it took you on PM Modi recently inaugurated this Monday. Okay, and we have seen that this is a centenary celebration of Bihangam Yoga. Okay, and we all know that uh, in association with this particular mandir or this temple, it has got a good design with around 125 petal lotus dome. If you like, this is a petal type or dome. Okay, or they have got a capacity of around 20,000 people. Okay, Tarupur. It is very much closer towards the Varanasi, and also we can see that it is made with a collaborative efforts of various workers and engineers. Okay, Tarupur. Yeah, there are a lot of fountains. Okay, curved mandir, intricate curving. Excuse me, I am saying a bit wrong. Okay, also the verses of the Swar Veda have been carved upon the walls of the Mahamandir. Okay, and the seventh floor of this Maha superstructure is there. Okay, so all these things directly makes a very pleasant. Uh, uh visiting site for the people who are going with religious tourism okay so to add upon hoise recently or recently to recently inaugurate kora goise so it is on news so you should know about this particular maha mandir next national geoscience data repository portal so a to uh, the union ministry of mines is to launch the national geoscience data repository portal on 19 december in a ceremony of new delhi okay so uh, geoscience data repository portal ki hoy a to yate tumaloke brief pai jaba ओके आल्सो याते मते मालक एटा स्मॉल सा एटा क्वेश्चन हुदिम जे इफ आई हैव टू से अबाउट दिस वन नेशनल जियोस्पेशियल डाटा रिपोजिटरी पोर्टल ओके इज इट वेटिया लॉन्च करा गुसे सो इट इज बेसिकली स्पेयर हेडेड बाय द जीएसआई ओके जियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया ओके आरो कोन असे आरो असे भास्करचार्य इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ स्पेस एप्लीकेशन एंड जियो इंफॉर्मेटिक्स मुख जीएसआई आरो बी सैग एंड ओके ए दुटा की होय मुख कमेंट सेक्शन आपको ओके व्हाट इज द रोल आर ता हातर हेड क्वार्टर्स कोड असे गुटे खिनि क्वा इवन यू हैव टू टेल मी दैट जीएसआई इज डायरेक्टली कमिंग अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ माइंस ओके यार सोटा रीजनल ऑफिस असे ए रीजनल ऑफिस कोड कोड असे हेलो तुमालक मुख कमेंट सेक्शन आपको ओके वेरी इंपोर्टेंट नेक्स्ट साथी पोर्टल साथी बोली कोले की बुझबो सेल्फ असेसमेंट टेस्ट एंड हेल्प फॉर एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन पोर्टल So, what is the objective of the portal? Provide quality education to every student who intends to participate in competitive examinations like JEE, NEET, and various state-level engineering and other examinations. Okay. So, yeah, look at who is doing this. AICT. So, what is the question? What is AICT? This establishment headquarters. Good evening. So, what is the comment section? Not good. Okay. Aro, yate bohor ta important bostu hoy. Zay yate AI-based translation tool use kora gose. Aro AI tool 22 Indian languages of support kore. ओके तुम लोग मु क्वा जे शेड्यूल एटर अंडर ऑफ देयर आर सम ऑफ दी लैंग्वेजेस केटा लैंग्वेजेस असे आरो की की लैंग्वेज होय हेखिनि तुम लोग मु कमेंट सेक्शन अट क्वा तार उपर मु क्वा जे रिसेंटली तीन दा मान लैंग्वेज इन द लास्ट अपडेट ओके दो इट हैज इयर्स पास्ट बट लास्ट अपडेट ऑफ तीन दा लैंग्वेज इंसर्ट करा गयसिला अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर शेड्यूल सो हेतु कुन तीन दा लैंग्वेज होय हेतु तुम लोग मु कमेंट सेक्शन अट क्वा ओके सो दैट इज ऑल फॉर टुडे फ्रॉम माय साइड थैंक यू ऑल